Kiev says the military is currently relocating its forces to surround the two eastern Ukrainian capitals. Well, as for where it could all lead, let's discuss that with the former Italian Foreign Minister Franco Frattini. Mr. Frattini, thank you very much for joining me. Now, how do you view President Poroshenko's order Thanks. for East Ukraine's two biggest cities to be blockaded? Well, I think uh, it is never a good order where innocent civilians are taken under siege. It is never a good order where civilians are exposed to become victims of violence. Unfortunately, war, civil war, can never be the response. So what do you think this will mean for the public? We already know there's a water shortage in Donetsk and a million people live there. Well, uh, always, well, when people are exposed to violence, when people are under siege, when there are sufferings from the innocent population, that always leads to escalation and negative and counterproductive impacts. It is not the right solution. The violence we've seen, the government crackdown has literally put the region on its knees. Dozens were killed, you know, thousands had to flee, and the area is literally on the brink of a humanitarian crisis. So how justified have Kiev's actions been, do you think? Well, I think, it, in my opinion, uh, never a civil war atmosphere can be justifiable. I very strongly hope it will be possible for the government of Ukraine to order immediately ceasefire, as everybody would like to see in the world in this time. We've spoken about Kiev's actions, but Washington, as we know, refuses to admit that there is a mass exodus of refugees and has even publicly doubted the UN figures. Why do you think it's downplaying the scale of the problem? Frankly speaking, I don't know why, but for me, UN figures are always more important than opinions and doubts. I think that UN figures are showing us it is a catastrophic situation there. But would you agree, because the US says it insists Kiev has a right to protect its land with all means possible. Do you agree with that viewpoint? Uh, well, as I said, uh, civil war cannot be the response. I strongly hope Kiev will be sitting very soon together with the Russian Federation and Europe to try to decide as soon as possible a federal structure of Ukraine in full respect of Russian minorities. You know maybe that we have in Italy probably the best example in the world of coexistence between different ethnic and linguistic groups. It is South Tyrol, Italy. I think it can be source of some inspiration to create a federal Ukraine. But do you think we will end up seeing an agreement? Because as we know, Russia, Germany and France have been brokering a lasting ceasefire, but President Poroshenko refuses to extend one. So can we expect truce in the foreseeable future? Uh, apparently, President Poroshenko said yesterday to the Italian foreign minister that he will be ready to accept immediately a ceasefire. I hope that this good intention will be translated into a presidential order to renew the permanent ceasefire in that region. Franco Frattini, former Italian foreign minister, thank you so much for your time.